Good morning, first graders, and happy Monday. Today we are going to practice and review concepts we learned together in Unit 7. First, let's practice our vowels to wake our brains up. Clap your hands together and stretch out the vowel with me. A, apple, a. E, ed, a. I, itch, a. O, octopus, a. U, up, a. Great work practicing your vowels. Now let's practice our glued sounds. Remember, glued sounds are when two or three letters stick together to make one sound. The glued sounds we are practicing today are NG glued sounds. Echo after me. A-N-G, fang, ang. I-N-G, ring, ing. O-N-G, song, ong. U-N-G, lung, ung. Nice job practicing those glued sounds. Now get your elbows up and get ready to tap out NG glued sounds words. Elbows up. Tap it out. B, ang. The word is bang. Elbows up. Tap it out. Er, ing. The word is ring. Elbows up. Tap it out. S ang. The word is sang. Elbows up. Tap it out. Oong. The word is long. Elbows up. Tap it out. Oong. The word is lung. Echo and read these sight words with me. Who, what, where, when, there, here, are, was, said. Now we are going to practice marking up our NG glued sound word. Get something to write with and write on in front of you. First, we'll tap it out and then follow my directions to write it down. Elbows up, tap it out, sing, the word is sing. Now write an S on your paper or whiteboard and write the glued sound I-N-G. After you write the word, put a box around the I-N-G. You put a box around the I-N-G because I-N-G is a glued sound. The box shows that those three letters stick together to make one sound. Now let's tap out our word of the day and we will mark it up together too. Elbows up. Tap it out. Hang. The word is hang on your paper or whiteboard. Put the letter H and the glued sound A. N G. Now put a box around the glued sound A N G to mark up the glued sound. Great job. Thank you for your perseverance. Let's keep it up. Now I am going to make words on the board. After you are going to write them or if you have your tile board at home, you can make it, the word on that. So you're writing it down or building it, whatever material you have. The first word we are building is the word wing. Echo after me, say wing. W-ing, wing. So the first sound is W. The next sound is I N G K. I N G. Oops, I'm sorry. 
ing, w, ing. The word is wing. The next word we are going to do is hang, h, ang. Write this word down or build it. Hang, h, ang. We are going to do one last word together. Thing, not thing, thing. Thing has the th and then the ing glued sound. Thing, the word is thing. Write down the word or build it. Make sure you underline the digraph and mark up the glued sound with a box. Now we are going to practice the sounds that say k. k. There are three different sounds we know that say k. C says k. Write C on your paper or whiteboard. K says k. And the digraph CK says k. Underline your digraph. Now we are going to write five words with NG glued sounds and practice marking them up. The first word we are practicing is ring. Er ing. Remember to mark up the glued sound with a box. Our next word is sings. Say sings. This word has a lot of parts. S is the first sound. Ing is the glued sound. And the word is sings. So there is a suffix s too. Now I mark up the word putting a box around the glued sound underlining the base word and circling the suffix. The next word we are writing is sang. S-ang. S-ang. Marking up the glued sound, a-n-g. The next word we are writing is lung. Ung. Thank you for your great work. Keep up the awesome perseverance. Ung. Marking up the glued sound. U N G. Our next word is wings. W ings. Marking up the glued sound, I-N-G. Underline the base word and circle the suffix S. The word sings describes an action. The person sings a song. Wings, the suffix S makes the word mean more than one wing. Amazing perseverance, practicing your glued sounds, tapping out words, and writing some too. Now you are going to practice writing a sentence. I am going to give you two minutes to practice the sentence on your own, and then I will explain the sentence to you and show it to you, and you will have time to fix any mistakes that were made. Echo your sentence after me. Where are the dogs? Fed, and then your punctuation mark. Where are the dogs fed? And your punctuation mark. I'll say it one last time. Where are the dogs fed? And your punctuation mark. Go ahead and write your sentence. Where are the dogs fed? And in two minutes, I will show you what the sentence should look like.
keep up the amazing perseverance. Thank you for trying your best and working on your sentence. This is the correct answer for the sentence. Where are the dogs fed? Where is a trick word, W-H-E-R-E. -E. And there's a circle around it because it is a trick word. A-R-E-R -E -R is a trick word. So there is a circle around it. T-H-E, the, has a circle around it because it is a trick word. The word dogs has a suffix to make the word mean more than one dog. So the base word dog is underlined and the, sur the suffix s is circled. The word fed could be tapped out. E -d. Careful for that vowel though. E -e -e. So the word is fed. Where are the dogs fed is a question. So there is a question mark at the end. If you need to fix any of your words so you can learn the right way to spell them or the correct way to mark it up, now is your time to do that. Amazing work in foundations today. Your teachers and I are so excited to see you again tomorrow at school. Have a great rest of your day.